Yeah, I thought um, a lot of positives. You know, I thought the way we started the game was very positive. Uh, it's tough back-to-back -back with um, tough travel, short turnaround, finished late last night, lost an hour of sleep, played at 6 o'clock. Um, I thought just our readiness compared to earlier in the week in Phoenix, uh, you know, we brought the fight to the game and set a good tone early. We had a little bit of identity drift in the second quarter, and then to your point in the second half, our defense and offense was really sharp on a night where we didn't shoot it particularly well. What have you noticed most from Jay Will's improvement as a pick and roll player really on both ends of the floor but tonight defensively he just seemed to be um, very disruptive on that end yeah I mean the pick and roll game is so nuanced you know it, it it shows up every night but every pick and roll is different in a weird way depending on who you're playing with how you're being guarded uh, who you're playing against and so it just takes time to you know gather those experiences and he's you know on that track on both ends of the floor uh, he's learning how to get his physicality in the game, which I think angles that he's taking are allowing him to do that. Uh, and he's just, he's shown continuous improvement there. So, you know, it's obviously really helping us. And then Ooze, I mean, just some of the force at the rim that we've seen really over the last couple nights, the hard fouls he's, he's taking. Um, how encouraged are you by some of the signs he's showing out there? Yeah, he's on the gas. You know, he played with great force tonight, even coming off the floor a couple times, hard breaks. Uh, just learning, you know, we're just we're still building and he's such a young player and he missed a lot of time. So he's really in the early stages of his development, but he's learning the type of thrust you have to play with to be effective uh, in an NBA game. And he's working hard at that. I give him a lot of credit. It, there seemed to be a lot of like balanced impact tonight. Like everybody scored five guys in double figures, and there wasn't just one-sided performances. Like Dario even had like ten and seven, Ooze seventeen and, and eight. Is this kind of a, a good example of a compete together game, given the obstacles that you mentioned coming into the night? Yeah, and no one had their A game. You know, I don't think anybody played their best game. You know, uh, especially from a shooting standpoint. I mean, we had a really hard time at different times offensively. Didn't shoot the three ball well. Uh, and I thought, you know, to that point, I thought we played really hard. Uh, and then in the second half, especially on offense, we, we got connected and, and we're generating really good shots for each other. Some went in, some didn't, but uh, we played really on, on brand there in yeah. the second half. And then just with J-Dub, obviously well-rounded stat line, but from a facilitating standpoint, did you see anything that, that jumped out tonight in particular with his 10 assists? Yeah, he had, you know, good control of the game. He, you know, great pace again. Um, you know, he's playing a lot of on-ball minutes, uh, you know, and, and really learning how to manage the game from that standpoint. It still plays he can learn from, too. You know, he's um, he's a young player, you know, an experienced player relative to, you know, long careers. And so uh, we just have to keep getting better. He has to keep getting better. Who's all those guys. How gratifying is it to see your 22 draft class, Jay Will, Jay Dove, and Deuce, kind of have a fingerprint on tonight's game? Yeah, and they've had a fingerprint on a lot of, you know, obviously uh, those guys have had a fingerprint on a lot of games. Um, they're taking advantage of their opportunities. I give them a lot of credit. Um, they're workers, you know, and they, they show up every day and attack the program, which is all we ask of those guys early in their careers. Uh, and they've improved as a result, and they're talented players um, that have, you know, taken advantage of the opportunities they've gotten. Um, we have 15 games left. You know, they need to continue to do that. We have to continue to do that. Um, you know, just continue to build and, and keep improving. But those guys are a great example of that.